Welcome to Chamber Champions. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, Utah's voice for business. Each week, we take the opportunity to speak with leaders from business, government, education, and community service organizations who are making a difference in Utah. As a Chamber Champion, these individuals are recognized for their contributions and provided a forum to empower their vision and objectives. Hi, I'm Derek Miller, President and CEO of the Salt Lake Chamber and Downtown Alliance. Grateful to be here with Deneva Knight, Director of External Affairs for Comcast. Today we're talking about Comcast Rise Award and what it's doing to benefit historically underserved communities. Deneva, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thank you for having me. It probably makes sense to start at the beginning and that's telling people about what the Rise Awards are. Yeah, so the RISE Awards, to your point, are to help support underserved businesses, BIPOC businesses, Black, Indigenous, people of color. Um, and they were launched basically because data shows that these types of businesses have closed their doors more often due to COVID shutdowns versus any other businesses. So, you know, we know small businesses are the backbone of our community and our economy. So Comcast said, how can we help support these small businesses to help the communities in which we serve? And so we launched Comcast Rise. Comcast Rise provides um, complimentary Comcast business services. So that's internet that businesses use, telephone lines and that sort of thing. And then effective marketing and TV services for free. So that's digital marketing, that's TV commercials, that's business consul consultations, and then also mentorship for some of these small business owners to help them bounce back for, um, to recovery. You mentioned launching uh, the awards. Is this the first time that we've done this in Utah or has this been going on for a while? Yeah, so this is nationally with Comcast. It's the first time we've done anything like this. Um, we just announced the first Utah winners a month or so ago for round one. Uh, we awarded about five local businesses with the Comcast Rise Award. Well, let's talk about some of those winners. Who were they? And so one of the winners, um, and it's a unique business, it's um, Isha Aesthetics. And so it's a company that provides um, spa-related services and aesthetic services for folks that have come out of reconstructive surgery in Utah, and so help provide a Comcast business services for that. We also have a local barber, uh, Man Cave Barber is the name of the company um, out in Ogden, Utah. Uh, the name says it all, but <laughs> provides grooming services for men that come in and get groomed, you know, haircuts, beard, that sort of thing. So those are just two examples. How, I'm sure you had a lot more that uh, you could have awarded, and it was probably <laughs> a very selective process. All of the services that you mentioned are, would be just critical during a pandemic. We all know that having those internet connections and the high-speed internet more important than ever and having that digital marketing, of course, more important than ever. How did you go about selecting those winners? Yeah, so businesses go online to ComcastRise.com and they fill out an application basically displaying the need for the program. Um, we also require that businesses are in place um, between three to five years to be eligible for the program. So they were standing, you know, before 2020 and all the things happened and they're just trying to get that, you know, support and sustainable resources to stay covered. And so based on the need, you know, the compelling need that the business owners communicated in their application was essentially how they were selected. This obviously won't be just a one time. It's the first time, but hopefully the, the first of many. What would you say to those businesses who are listening to this, watching this and thinking, oh, this is something I'd like to uh, apply for or get involved in? Yeah, you know, I say it could be you. Even businesses that have applied for round one and they weren't accepted can still apply again. You can apply for each additional round. And so continue to apply. Um, we've expanded the opportunities. It started off just being for Black-owned businesses. Round two opened it up to BIPOC businesses. And the goal is to eventually open it up to all small businesses that could uh, uh, benefit from this program. So just keep applying. Um, and if they have any questions, they can go on to ComcastRise.com 
www.ebitcoachmentorship.com and there is a tutorial, there's videos to kind of answer some of the questions small business owners might have. So it's comcastrise.com. Yep. And uh, thank you for what Comcast Rise is doing to recognize and support these businesses. And thanks for joining us today on the Chamber Champions video. Thank you so much.